Now the camp was basically over, but in the end, they decided to call for the best of the best. They decided to choose the best two wide receivers and the best two DBs to step up and show out. And I was chosen by the receivers coach to step out there and ball out. This was the moment of truth. Catching this ball could possibly lead to a scholarship. I looked at the position in the corner and took off to catch my scholarship. I hit him with a little hezzy, stepped in for the post, hit him back out for the corner, and then I finally... Today I'm standing outside of Truist Stadium at North Carolina a &T. This is one of my last chances to show these coaches I have what it takes to play for their team. Now for those of y'all that are new to this channel, let me catch y'all back up to speed on why we're here in the first place. Last semester, I tried walking on at a and but unfortunately, they had a 3.4 GPA requirement that I couldn't reach. And for those of y'all thinking I wasn't trying in the classroom, I had a 3.18, but I could have done a little better. However, that setback only fueled my determination. And when I heard about the football camp they were having on campus, it was an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. This camp will put me in the front of the eyes of the coaches I wanted to impress. And if I balled out, they couldn't ignore me. Now, before this camp, I trained like Tyreek Hill for six days to improve my 40-yard dash. When we finally walked through the gate, my heart was pounding with excitement and nerves. The first thing we had to do was check in and it went pretty smooth. I received my camp card, my height, and weight and got a t-shirt. And then we walked in and kicked things off with a nice little warm-up. And after the warm-up surprised me, we went straight into the 40-yard dash. They didn't waste any time at this camp. They wanted to see how fast we were right out the gate. And for those of y'all that didn't watch the last video, this is where we left off. Finally pulled up to the camp. It was now time to test the 40-yard dash. It was the first thing we had to do out the gate when we arrived at the camp, so we had to be ready to go. This was the moment of truth. The test to see if all my hard work finally Finally paid off. I lined up with my heart racing, ready to give it everything I had. My adrenaline was pumping through my veins and I took off. I sprinted towards the finish line, fueled by my determination to beat my previous time for the last camp. I finished running and I pulled one of the players to the side and asked what my 40 time was. And he said I ran a terrible time. The 40 yard dash I ran wasn't even a 4.6, it wasn't a 4.7, and it wasn't even a 4.8. The time was so bad, I don't even want to say it on camera. Seven days of training isn't enough for me. I'm not naturally fast. The speed I have is more on field speed. So a player like me has to train for the 40 yard dash one to two months in advance. And I realized that's going into the camp. So although we failed running a 4-6 or 4-7, I didn't let it get to my head and I moved on to the shuttle, which was a lot better. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and I go off. We got two attempts and I ran a 4-4 for both. We then did the broad jump and I think I got like a 9-1 on there. They then called us in to talk and we kicked off the next part of the camp with an agility circuit. And with that horrible 40 time I ran, I had to go out there and impress these coaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time, think it's my year, yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time, think it's my year, yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time, think it's my pen ready. Used to hold myself back, my selfish thing damn patty. Gotta keep on chill, yeah. Ran through everything in front of me, might smoke been heavy. Got a whole agenda, can't inspire to get a hit, so bump that, it's no surrender. Got a dollar flipped up, I'm trying to get it an FT to get them when they're handed. Crypto, learn how to fix that. I don't really hold out of books, but I'ma learn how to fix that. Some opportunities and never come unless you're paying attention, so no, I can't miss that. Moving. I got the record, I might have to throw something Big jumper worthy, they gon' have to retire my jersey early Whole crew coming, had to work something Cause I had nothing in my pocket, yeah I did all that Big plans, partners trying to make profits, yeah I did all that I pushed myself to my limit, showcasing my speed, agility, and determination. We got our water break and went straight into individual drills with our position coach. And this was my chance to show the receiver's coach who I truly was. And I wasn't some puck with a slow 40 time that I could really ball. And my 40 time doesn't define the type of player that I am. What I do on the field though. Let it be known, I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a foe. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You supposed to be just close to me and hopefully you understand G.O.D. Maybe this cold and I'm talking like no degree. This ain't a fluke. I seen it way before it ever happened. He gave me the view. I had to put in my time on the TV. It coming in soon. I couldn't leave it all up to a variant. Next up was routes on air. My goal was to not drop a single pass during. Hey, the homie is you. Always gonna wait until you in the mood. I been running, came out, gunning, stopped the fight on your word. It's what you hear, not what you heard. Alright, that pass was kinda iffy, but I'ma put the blame on myself. That was my fault. Damn, I'm on the earth till they put me in it. The route on air was cut short due to time, and it was now time for the most anticipated event, one-on-ones. It was the first rep, and you guys already know I had to step up. Show that I'm a leader and can step up when it counts. So I spoke to the QB and told him my route. So when I seen the corner, he was playing seven yards off and shading inside, and I decided to get to work. I'm not catching fades anymore. Gotta keep my hands clean when they come for the ball. Now that wasn't on me, the QB sold me on that route. That man was beat. Usually I take the blame, but that ball was just overthrown. Now I was able to step back up pretty quickly. And one future tip I get to my young athletes is step up at these camps and skip everybody. Get to know these QBs and get to know their name. Cause when I was doing my rep, I would rest for 30 seconds, tell the QB my route and step up again. Like the top dog, keep on running game and the gang will accomplish. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 
The next route was a gold ball, but it got cut off in the beginning. One thing about your boy, I don't celebrate after routes like this. I gotta act like I've been here before. And just get back and go on to the next route. Now this is on me, the rocker step could have been better at the top. And that was probably my first bad route of the day. But I didn't let that stop me and got to cooking on the next route. So far it's been an okay day. I went 3 for 5, one of them wasn't my fault, but it's all good. I'm not a perfectionist, but I expect the best out of myself each route I run. Now that we're trying to play D1 football, we don't have no room for mistakes. Every single rep we do counts. Now the camp was basically over, but in the end they decided to call out the best of the best. They chose the best two wide receivers and the best two DBs to step up and show out. And I was one of the receivers chosen to go out there. This was the moment of truth. Catching this ball could lead to a potential scholarship. I went to the QB, told him my route, and got to work. I took off to go catch my scholarship. I hit him with a little hezzy, stepped inside for the post, went back out for the corner, and I oh, God, going on, man. Man. Yeah. folded. I freaking folded. He got stuck on my hip when I broke on the post. And I broke too horizontally on my route, and it looked more like an out than a post. And I was disappointed. That could have truly been my opportunity to play for this team. And the camp was over. Or was it? I still had to talk to the receiver's coach, and what he said might surprise you guys. Man, good job, man. Good job. So I had a little, a little talk with uh, Brown, man. So I'm going to talk to Brian. I got you. I'm going to give you a call, man. Coach Brown is the head coach, guys, and they were talking about me. And that isn't even the end of it. Oh, man, we'll see, man. But I'm sure. I'm saying, yeah. I'm ready to go. I'm trying to be a super freak. Yeah, super freak. Super freak. Super freak. Super freak. Super freak. Super freak. Y'all two in a deep D that was highlighted. I then went on to take a picture with him. He then told me how he enjoys watching my videos online and to keep doing that. That was the first time a coach ever told me something like that. Before back then, I lost the opportunity of a scholarship because I mic'd myself up at a camp. And this receiver coach loves the content. I produce and the energy I put behind it. At this point, it's a sign from God that I have to play at this school in the fall. Because just when I thought my horrible 40 time and my bad route on the last rep would turn these coaches away, there was still an opportunity to potentially play for this team. Ultimately, they said they might have something for walk-ons two weeks into the school year. It's not confirmed. It's currently August 11th and they started fall camp two weeks ago. Seeing the post on Instagram of them in fall camp and shoulder pads just pays me. School starts on August 21st and I'm ready to play, y'all boys. I honestly don't know what to expect, but all I can do is leave the uncontrollable in God's hands. Faith is the most important thing in this process. And I just have to keep working and trust that everything will align according to his will. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. Like I said before, I trained like Tyreek Hill six days before this camp to prepare for it. So if you want to see how I worked out, conditioned, and mentally prepared for this camp, click this video right here. And one thing I'll say is never let your doubts hold you back from pursuing your dreams. And remember, if you don't follow me, you can't guard me.